Last week on Monday Night Raw, the shocking return of the franchise John Cena. After we found out Cena had been traded to the red brand, he teamed up with the WWE Champion, the original bro Matt Riddle, who has had a score to settle with the prize fighter Kevin Owens and the great liberator Sami Zayn. It was a massive tag team matchup seven nights ago, and in the end, with John Cena's aid, Matt Riddle was able to score a victory over Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens in that massive tag team matchup. But well, all roads lead to tonight in Montreal, where we will decide the number one contender for the WWE Championship at King of the Ring next month. The franchise John Cena, one on one with an old rival in the prize fighter Kevin Owens. One of these men will challenge Matt Riddle at the King of the Ring. We find out later tonight. And also tonight here on Monday Night Raw, the King of the Ring tournament kicks off in moments. Cedric Alexander battles Tommaso Ciampa in the opening round of the King of the Ring. Also coming up tonight, LA Knight, Shinsuke Nakamura. These two men have been at odds over the last month and change. Tonight it is the rubber match between the Defiant Knight and the King of Strong Style in the King of the Ring tournament. The following contest is scheduled for one fall. That is four. The WWE Intercontinental Championship! Well, we are live from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. And we are kicking things off in a massive way. As advertised, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. It is going to be, quite frankly, the most action-packed night here on Monday Night Raw of the season thus far. Two King of the Ring first-round matches. Xavier Woods set the battle with Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship. And then that massive main event between Kevin Owens and John Cena to determine the number one contender for the WWE title. Xavier Woods, alongside his tag team partner in the New Day, Kofi Kingston, have been earning a lot of victories in tag team matches and singles affairs over Baron Corbin and Madcap Moss over the last month and change. Xavier Woods next to step up to the invincible Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship. Dragunov won that gold back at WrestleMania in February. He has turned away the challenges of Shinsuke Nakamura, as well as the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. But will Xavier Woods, who has been pushed to his limit and come out on the other side, gonna be the one to dethrone Ilya Dragunov and take away that prestigious Intercontinental gold? Remember, Xavier Woods was a participant in the number one contenders tournament back in March and April for the Intercontinental title, made it to the second round, fell to Cedric Alexander. And now another crack at the gold tonight as the invincible Ilya Dragunov is in the house in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. One of the most impressive young stars in WWE today. A hard hitter, absolutely vicious and destroying is Ilya Dragunov, the invincible one inside of the squared circle. There's a reason he is atop Monday Night Raw. As a champion, there's a reason he holds the Intercontinental Championship. Dragunov has been on a roll for months here on the red brand. But as we mentioned, it is Xavier Woods going to be the kryptonite to that Intercontinental Championship reign right here tonight. I want to thank you for joining us here in Montreal on the road to June the 18th at King of the Ring, which of course will be the biggest week in Universe Mode history, as just a few days prior will be Monday Night Raw Homecoming live from Madison Square Garden. Friday Night Smackdown, Super Smackdown live in Washington, D.C. And of course, the channel member exclusive live event on Saturday night, June the 17th from the Hammerstein Ballroom in Manhattan, New York. The biggest week in Universe Mode history coming up next month, but we are live, we are set to kick off Monday Night Raw, which as we mentioned, may be the most action-packed night of the season thus far. Intercontinental Championship is on the line. Ilya Dragunov has turned away Butch, has turned away Shinsuke Nakamura, has turned away Tyler Bate. But will he be able to keep down the New Day's Xavier Woods? Woods has never held a singles championship here in WWE. Decorated tag team star. But is this the opportunity that the man who has been the top of up, up, down, down been waiting for? Championship is on the line here in Montreal. Let's send things down to the ring for your official Match introductions. Introducing the challenger from Atlanta, Georgia, weighing in at 205 pounds, Xavier Woods. And his opponent from Moscow, Russia, weighing in at 187 pounds, he is 
the WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov. Well, here we go. Big fight field to kick things off in the Bell Center here on Monday Night Raw. Ilya Dragunov defending the Intercontinental Championship against the New Day's Xavier Woods. This is going to be an awesome night here on the Red Brand Championship matchup to kick things off. Thank you for joining us yet again here in Montreal. Let's get it going here on Raw. Challenger and champion set. And the bell has sounded. We are underway with your opening bout. Ilya Dragunov coming out of the gate as he seemingly always does with that lariat. There's going to be a tough battle both ways around in this matchup. Ilya Dragunov has been in there, as we mentioned, with the Bruiserweight Butch dethroning him at WrestleMania, has retained the gold over Shinsuke Nakamura at Backlash, Tyler Bate recently here on Monday Night Raw. Those have been some tough battles for the Invincible One, but he has come out on the other side still, your Intercontinental Champion. Xavier Woods building some massive momentum alongside his tag team partner, Kofi Kingston. They own tag team victories over Baron Corbin and Madcap Moss. And Xavier Woods owns some singles victories as well. Just recently, last week on roll, picked up the W over Madcap. Xavier Woods certainly a deserving challenger for the Intercontinental title. And Ilya Dragunov not one to turn down a challenge. Remember that matchup against Tyler Bate was an open challenge by Ilya Dragunov. He wants to be a defending champion as he has been all throughout his reign thus far. Nice no takedown by Xavier Woods. Springboard going for Tornado DDT by Woods. Xavier is looking to come up big tonight, become the new Intercontinental Champion, hold that gold for the first time in his career. Dragunov getting set over the top rope, and down he goes to the floor. Hard fall for the Intercontinental Champion. Xavier Woods all over the champion right now. This is exactly what he's got to do. Pick apart Ilya Dragunov and throw everything in the kitchen sink at the champion to try to take away the gold here tonight. Xavier Woods, I'm sure, has watched those title defenses of Ilya Dragunov. He sees what Dragunov has been through and survived. Xavier Woods knows he's going to have to empty the tank tonight to try to become champion. Meanwhile, Dragunov looking to do the same as he always does. Takes down Woods. Now the champion in the cover, only a one count. It's going to be an awesome night of action here tonight in the Bell Center. Montreal, Quebec, Canada. There's been an awesome Canadian tour over the last couple of weeks that featured Vengeance in Vancouver. Now back in Montreal tonight. A night that will kick off the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. Cedric Alexander set to meet Tommaso Ciampa. Also coming up later tonight, the rubber match between LA Knight and Shinsuke Nakamura. Cannot wait to see what is going to transpire in your first round matches in the King of the Ring. Nonetheless, Woods back in the ring, and he is met with a chop by Ilya Dragunov, making a dose. Goes for the tress, but Woods, from behind, backdrop simple yet affected by the challenger. Springboard, Woods going for a kick, Ilya Dragunov. Getting out of the way there, nobody home for the challenger, and down goes Xavier. That misstep off the springboard, handing the momentum back to your Intercontinental Champion, and there's another counter. Could very much see a tit-for-tat matchup between the champion and the challenger tonight. All remains to be seen, but Woods takes down Ilya Dragunov off the corner. And Dragunov on the defense, rolling to the outside of the ring. Xavier Woods has got his eyes locked on the champion. And what has the New Day's Woods got in mind here for a second time? Snapmare sends him off the top and down to the floor. Woods banking on those falls by Ilya Dragunov to try to take down the champion, but Ilya Dragunov just as dangerous on the outside of the ring as he is inside of it. Throwing Xavier Woods into the steel steps there. Woods able to avoid the lariat, and now throws a couple of haymakers of his own. Oh, look at this. On the outside of the ring, Ilya Dragunov eats it into the rib cage. Championship is on the line, and as we mentioned, Woods going to have to empty the tank tonight in order to leave Montreal with a new piece of hardware. Both these men as tough as they come, especially the Intercontinental Champion Ilya Dragunov. And Xavier Woods knows he's going to have to do anything possible, where he's dig deep down into the arsenal, pull out maneuvers that he hasn't before, pull out maneuvers that, quite frankly, he might not pull out all that often. 
Running it off on the outside. Woods knows he can't win this on a count out right now. He can certainly do some damage on the outside of the ring. The Ilya Dragunov trying to avoid disaster off that DDT. Now a little roll reversal as he sends Xavier Woods into the barricade. Dragunov can certainly retain on a count out. Not saying he's going to want that. Ilya Dragunov likes to get it done inside of the ropes. Dragunov making his way back into the ring. I think he knows Xavier Woods is going to be on his tail any second. Just going to allow himself to take a breather in here. Trying to reset and regain plan in this matchup. And a nice discus chop takes the challenger off his feet. And he fouls up with the senton. Ilya Dragunov has got so many ways to beat you down inside of that ring. The reason he is... One of the faces of Monday Night Raw, your Intercontinental Champion. Bare knee right to the jaw. It's a knockout blow any day of the week, twice on Monday. Nice take over there by the champion. Wait a minute, roll up here, but not going for the pinfall. Decides to utilize the strength, slams him out, goes for the pinfall, but another one count there. Xavier Woods surviving in this matchup. Dragunov starting to rev up the engines a little bit. Xavier Woods not going to go down without a fight. Woods down and out in the middle of the ring. Ilya Dragunov trying to wrench on that neck right there. Woods might be feeling a little bit off that slam moments ago. He was able to get out of the pinfall, but certainly some damage done on the challenger. Intercontinental champion there is a counter by Woods off the elbow. Let's see what Xavier Woods has got in the tank. Simple but effective suplex there. Sometimes you don't need to get too creative. You just got to stick to the basics. And most of the time, they're going to do some damage. Look at Xavier Woods getting fired up. Montreal behind Xavier Woods tonight. Oh, look at this. Xavier definitely the stronger of the two competitors and uses that strength to his advantage. The champion's down. Woods is heading to the top rope. Could be looking for that elbow drop, but nobody home. The champion crashes and burns, but look at the adrenaline out of Xavier Woods. Here comes the challenger. Not going to let that misstep off the top rope derail his momentum. Dragging off his own spaghetti legs. Here comes Woods. Down goes the Intercontinental Champion. We're gonna have a new champion here in Montreal. No, not just yet. Ilya Dragunov gets the shoulder up at two and a half seconds there, and somehow this matchup rolls on. But notice Xavier Woods keeping the foot on the gas pedal. Sees opportunity, not looking to slip through his fingers. Gotta give credit where credit's due. Xavier Woods missed that elbow drop and did not let it derail him. I'm sure Woods is in pain right now. He crashed and burned off the canvas, but he is letting adrenaline ride him through this onslaught of offense on Ilya Dragunov. But there comes the champion taking down Woods. Oh, wait a minute. Ilya Dragunov, I think we know what comes next. Torpedo headbutt. And Xavier Woods may be seeing stars. No! Xavier Woods kicking out of that torpedo missile headbutt. I cannot believe it. Montreal, Quebec, showing their love, showing their appreciation for the champion and challenger. I thought Dragunov had him there. He got Woods off the top rope and immediately went for the kill. Woods was able to get the shoulder up. It may have just been out of instinct because I don't know how much the challenger is going to have left in the tank out of taking Ilya Dragunov's long dart of a headbutt. Wait a minute. Look at that. Catapults off the middle rope with the lariat. And now the champion has got Montreal on their feet. What a matchup to kick things off here on Monday Night Raw. We said it was going to be an action-packed night. We were not kidding around. Dragging off. Look at this muscling up Xavier Woods. The strength out of the champion. Sit-out powerbomb. Going for the pinfall. A little close to the ropes there. The Dragon off trying any means necessary. He might be racking his brain right now as to what he's going to have to do to keep Xavier down. And here comes the challenger getting fired up. Woods survived the torpedo headbutt. And Xavier Woods may be the kryptonite to Dragunov's Intercontinental Championship reign. 
Another counter by Dragunov after Woods was starting to get fired up there. Takedown by the champion. What an incredible contest for the Intercontinental Championship matchup. Woods avoids the chop. Oh, wait a minute, look at this, muscling up. The champion here, stacking him up, and down goes Ilya. Great maneuver there by Xavier Woods. Oh, wait a minute. Another counter there by the Intercontinental Champion. Ilya Dragunov starting to pick up steam. Another shot, make it a dose. Dragunov's unloading now. And back and forth we are starting to go. We said it earlier, we'll say it again. These two men, we're gonna have to empty the tanks and that's exactly what they're doing tonight. Woods all kinds of days. Dragunov with that overhead throw. We're gonna muscle up the challenger there. Oh my goodness, another hard shot. Dragunov is unloading right now. Goes behind, snap German there. Could have possibly went for the bridge had he not been so close to the ropes. Think Dragunov knew it would have been a rope break there. Not gonna waste his strength and time. Woods into the corner. Oh wait a minute, Dragunov. Going back to the well with some of his most dangerous maneuvers there. Double lariats. Xavier Woods to his feet. Goes behind on the champion. I don't know how Xavier Woods is still fighting. Credit to the champion as well. These guys throwing everything in the kitchen sink at each other. Face first goes Dragunov. Wheelbarrow maneuver by Xavier Woods. And now he's heading to the top. Could be looking for that elbow drop, but he crashes and burns again. That elbow has not been in the favor of Xavier Woods tonight as Ilya Dragunov is back where he's most comfortable in the corner, locked and loaded in position. Here comes a torpedo for a second time. There is not a shot in hell that Xavier Woods was ever going to survive a second torpedo headbutt by the man who does it best, the invincible Ilya Dragunov. What a contest to kick things off here in Montreal for the Intercontinental Championship. Here is your winner, and still WWE Intercontinental Champion, Ilya Dragunov. It is going to be an awesome night of action here in Montreal on Monday Night Raw. Still so much more to come. High stakes, high rewards. And as for Ilya Dragunov, he's leaving still your Intercontinental Champion. Do you want access to a bonus Universe Mode episode every single month? Well, now you have the chance. Click the Join button down below and become a NOAA Nation Gaming channel member. Not only will you receive one bonus Universe Mode episode every single month, but you'll receive access to exclusive badges, emojis, discounted merchandise, and more. Become a Premium Pass channel member today and don't miss out on these exclusive perks. The King of the Ring pay-per-view comes your way Sunday night. June the 18th, we are heading to the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia for the 2023 King of the Ring. It is going to be the biggest week in Universe Mode history. Raw Homecoming in Madison Square Garden, Super Smackdown in Washington, D.C., channel member exclusive live event at the Hammerstein Ballroom, and then, of course, King of the Ring on Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time to kick off the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. The following is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Charlotte, North Carolina, weighing in at 200 pounds, Cedric Alexander. High stakes matchup in the first round of the King of the Ring. We're gonna take a look at this 16-man bracket that'll soon start to dwindle. Eight superstars from Monday Night Raw, eight superstars from Friday Night SmackDown. This tournament will take place over the next number of weeks. The semifinals and finals will take place live Sunday night, June the 18th. Where we will crown the 2023 King of the Ring. And remember the avid ca added caveat, whoever wins this tournament not only gets the crown of the King, but also earns themselves either a WWE or a World Heavyweight Championship matchup this coming August at SummerSlam. 
And the mood has just changed with Tommaso Ciampa. And his opponent from Milwaukee, Wisconsin, weighing in at 201 pounds, Tommaso Ciampa. Well, there is some recent history between these two men, especially in tournaments. Remember back in March in the number one contenders tournament for the Intercontinental Championship, it was actually Cedric Alexander and Tommaso Ciampa in the first round of that tournament as well, which Alexander picked up the win on that night. Tommaso Ciampa has been a little bit of a losing streak, but we know how tough Tommaso Ciampa is. Former Intercontinental Champion, former World Tag Team Champion in just the last year here in WWE. Let's see if Ciampa can get back in the winning ways tonight the king of the ring has officially kicked off off that bell and champ is going for the quick cover on cedric alexander but alexander gets the shoulder up champ has suffered two recent losses to the almighty bobby lashley could be a big time comeback victory if he can move to the quarterfinals of the king of the ring against cedric tonight but alexander is going to be a tough puzzle to crack for tommaso champa you also got to wonder if Ciampa is in his head, knowing that the last time these two men fought, Cedric was the victor on that night. Has Tommaso Ciampa visited that footage? Has he figured out the recipe to defeat Cedric Alexander? Ciampa obviously coming out swinging off the opening bell, trying to defeat Cedric. Trying to get this match over with in a hurry. We know how tough Alexander is. Cedric Alexander, another man who's been struggling to keep momentum on his side but definitely have seen the improvements of alexander over the last couple of months here on monday night raw last time alexander was inside the squared circle my goodness discus lariat by the blackheart into the cover alexander survives again but cedric's bell has got to be wrong right now well, as we are about to mention the last time cedric was inside the squared circle was on the eve of vengeance at our wwe live event Cedric Alexander ran it back with Apollo Crews, an issue they had a number of weeks ago on Raw. Cedric picked up the win on that night, earning himself a spot in the King of the Ring tournament. Now Cedric's just got to focus on Ciampa right now, trying to get back into this matchup. As Ciampa's down, and there's a signature elbow drop from the age of Alexander. Cedric as talented as they come. Oh, look at that! My goodness, taking Ciampa off his feet! with that Spanish fly maneuver. And Alexander didn't go for the pinfall there, which may have cost him, because Champ is fired up, and he's unloading on Alexander. And what a match this has been. We're just a few minutes into it. First round, first matchup of the King of the Ring tournament, kicking off on Monday Night Raw before our very eyes, and Champ and Alexander are already leaving everything inside the squared circle. Alexander going for the cover finally, but Champ gets the shoulder up. Again, still to come tonight. Yeah. LA Knight, Shinsuke Nakamura is set to go one on one. In the next first round matchup in the King of the Ring. Champa getting the momentum back in this matchup. Alexander eats the turnbuckle. It doesn't last long as he just falls to his feet in agony. That onslaught for Tommaso Champa after the opening bell. Even though Cedric has showed some signs of life, may have really put Tommaso in a position for victory tonight. All remains to be seen. It's not over to the bell sounds. But Tommaso Ciampa is in control over Cedric. Putting him on the top rope. Haymaker there by Ciampa. Look at this. Backbreaker there on Alexander. And another cover from the black court of WWE. But Cedric survives again. And you hear Montreal. This is awesome for Tommaso Ciampa and Cedric Alexander. The bell center. Montreal, Quebec, Canada, getting a treat tonight. What a night of Monday Night Raw action this has been. We're only halfway through. Alexander trying to get back into this matchup. Drops down. Goes over. Champa just runs through whatever Alexander had in mind, but here comes Cedric with a takedown. Alexander fighting from underneath right now, but can he survive? The black card of WWE. Champa rolling to the outside as Cedric starting to pick up steam. Here comes Alexander over the top rope. Here we go. This is what the King of the Ring tournament is all about. A tournament that has been won by so many legends, so many Hall of Famers. Brett the Hitman Hart, Triple H, Edge, Kurt Angle, Brock Lesnar. The list goes on. 16 men will enter this tournament. 
and the two men who we are witnessing in that ring right now, well, I should say it's outside of that ring, Cedric Alexander and Tommaso Ciampa looking to be the ones at the finish line. And Ciampa just throw that discus lariat again, one of the hardest hitting maneuvers in his arsenal. Cedric Alexander is down and out, and Ciampa could be closing in on a count out victory. Alexander slowly making his way into the ring. Gotta wonder how much these two men got left. They have been all over each other since that opening bell sounded. Champ into the cover off the knee. Will that do it? Cedric Alexander gets the shoulder up. It's a hell of a battle. The champ is just unloading with strikes. Left palms, right palms, closed fist. Alexander trying to do his best to absorb it and stand on his own two feet. But Champa may have found the recipe for victory tonight. What a shot! Alexander is on spaghetti legs. And Tommaso Champa. German suplex landing Alexander on the back of his dome. Alexander. There's a counter there. Cedric's got to get back into this now or never. Close line. Making a dose. Champa's in the corner. Here comes Alexander. Tommaso Champa. His plan for victory may have been spoiled as Cedric Alexander starting to put the pieces together. Kick to the gut. Has got Champa hooked. Down he goes. And the black heart. That may be all she wrote. And it is. Cedric Alexander, the first man to move on to the quarterfinals of the 2023 King of the Ring. That was one hell of a battle to kick things off for the King of the Ring tournament tonight in Montreal. Here is your winner, Cedric Alexander. Well, there you see the bracket. And there you see Cedric Alexander moving on to the quarterfinals of the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. He will meet the winner of next week's battle between Seth Rollins and the Celtic Warrior Sheamus. But Cedric Alexander fighting through adversity tonight, coming out from underneath and was able to pull off the victory over the black card of WWE, Tommaso Ciampa. What a match. The action continues here tonight in Montreal as Mr. Monday Night Rob Van Dam is back in action. One-on-one -on -one against Elias. Plus in the women's division, the man Becky Lynch looks to take down Dana Brooke in one-on-one -on -one action. And the results of those contests see Elias falling to Mr. Monday Night RVD in his return to the squared circle. RVD picking up a big time victory tonight. And as for that women's division matchup, Becky Lynch back in action as well, and she secures another W. Could Becky be in line for the new women's champion Liv Morgan down the line as a future championship challenger? What has been one hell of a night already here in Montreal on Monday Night Raw, but the action ain't slowing down anytime soon. As advertised, your second of two opening round matches in the 2023 King of the Ring Tournament. The King of Strong Style, Shinsuke Nakamura, looking to take home the crown. And if that is going to be the case, the road to Philadelphia starts right here tonight on Raw. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring from Kyoto, Japan. Weighing in at 220 pounds, Shinsuke Nakamura! Well, coming up in just seven nights, the Monday Night Raw bracket in the King of the Ring will continue as the great liberator Sami Zayn starts to go one-on-one -on -one with the big strong boy Tyler Bate. Another first round matchup in the King of the Ring. And also coming up next week on Raw, a huge score to be settled in the midst of this tournament between the visionary Seth freaking Rollins and the Celtic warrior Sheamus. These two men have got some bad blood over the last few months. Their next chapter will be written in the King of the Ring in just seven nights on Monday Night Raw. And as for here tonight in Montreal, what a night of action it has been already and so much more to come. Later on, we will determine the number one contender for the WWE title. But right now, Nakamura battles LA Knight in their rubber match in the King of the Ring Tournament. And his opponent from Hagerstown, Maryland, 
Weighing in at 230 pounds, L.A. Knight. These two men fought for the first time here on Raw last month, and L.A. Knight picked up the victory. And then just a number of weeks ago, they ran it back. Shinsuke Nakamura picked up the W in fight number two. And now it's the rubber match. Round three between the defiant LA Knight and the king of strong style, Shinsuke Nakamura. And of course, the stakes higher than they could have ever been. King of the ring, first round matchup. And as we mentioned earlier, not only in this tournament is the crown of the king on the line, but the winner, ultimately, of the king of the ring tournament will punch themselves a first class ticket to August at SummerSlam to battle the WWE or World Heavyweight Champion. A whole lot riding on each and every match over these next couple of weeks. And again, the semifinals and finals of the tournament will take place Sunday night, June the 18th in Philadelphia. But here we go on Raw, Shinsuke Nakamura, LA Knight, one-on-one -on -one for the rubber match. Should be very interesting to see who's gonna get the upper hand and ultimately who's gonna pull out the victory of this best of three, if you will. LA Knight, as we mentioned, won the first matchup, and we speculated on that night that Nakamura may not have been 100%. If you remember, that first battle was just 24 hours after Backlash last month, where Nakamura had gone one-on-one -on -one with Ilya Dragunov for the Intercontinental Championship. LA Knight scored the victory nonetheless. Nakamura, knowing that he might not have been 100%, challenged LA Knight to a rematch just a few weeks ago here on the Red Brand and ultimately was able to defeat LA Knight off the King Shasa. But tonight is where it matters most. King of the Ring first round battle, Nakamura and LA Knight. One of these men is moving on to the corner finals of this prestigious tournament. Nakamura calls himself the King of Strong Style. Well, a chance to finally bestow that crown on his head once again in the King of the Ring tournament. As for the loudmouth LA Knight, he wins this tournament. He may never shut the hell up, but nonetheless, look at Knight going behind on Nakamura. A beautiful maneuver there. Like the attitude of Knight or not, certainly knows how to get it done from bell to bell, but not just yet. Nakamura, as tough as they come, it is not going to be an easy task. Oh, what a kick! That's what happens when you take the eye off the King of Strong Style. LA Knight was mouthing off to the audience, and now Nakamura going to strut his stuff. These two men know each other a little bit more familiar after these last couple of battles. Nakamura saw an opportunity, and he took with that kick to the rib cage. But here's LA Knight now. Fireman's carry position, hanging Shinsuke up on the top rope. LA Knight hitting the ropes now and dropping the elbow on Nakamura. I don't wonder, as we mentioned with Tommaso Ciampa, had he gone back and watched back the footage with Cedric Alexander, you gotta believe that these two men have done the same thing. Their first two battles, especially with such high stakes riding on the line tonight. Nobody's gonna wanna let an opportunity of such magnitude slip through their fingers, and certainly with an opponent that you've been inside the ring with before, you don't wanna make the same mistakes that maybe cost you the loss the first time around. All remains to be seen in due time. As LA Knight continues to work on Shinsuke Nakamura. Hitting the ropes again, could be going for a, another elbow drop, but this time Nakamura had it scouted. Misstep out of LA Knight, went to the well too many times. Shinsuke now on the upper hand, and down goes Knight off the canvas again. And as we mentioned, just seven nights away on Monday Night Raw, the Monday Night Raw side of the bracket will continue with the final first round matches. Next week on Raw, we will see the great liberator Sami Zayn go one-on-one -on -one with the big strong boy, Tyler Bate. The next week's main event, the Celtic warrior Sheamus versus the visionary Seth freaking Rollins. It'll be an awesome night of action next week as it's been here tonight in Montreal. LA Knight on the apron, or excuse me, Nakamura on the apron, on the chase right now as LA Knight might have just goaded him in. There's Nakamura, don't want to throw hands with the striker and Shinsuke. Talked about earlier how Ilya Dragunov, one of the hardest hitting superstars in the Monday Night Raw locker room. Nakamura also in that same breath. LA Knight's got to be careful. As we just mentioned, you don't want to throw hands with such a striker in Shinsuke. As look at this, Nakamura goes behind and sends LA Knight for an amusement park ride up and over and down to the floor. Into the cover. Is Shinsuke moving to the quarterfinals? Not just yet as LA Knight kicks out. Close call there by Shinsuke. Didn't get the three count, but certainly some damage done on the defiant LA Knight. 
Oh, like, now he's eating a couple elbows to the spine. That ain't gonna go well, especially after that fall moments ago by hands of Shinsuke Nakamura. Nakamura, a former NXT champion, former tag team champion, United States Intercontinental champion. Shinsuke would love to get himself an opportunity and Monday Night Raw's WWE champion comes SummerSlam in August. And he has that opportunity, as does everybody on the Raw side of the bracket over these next couple of weeks. Nakamura to the cover again, and LA Knight gets the shoulder up again. Of course, over on the Friday Night SmackDown side, all those superstars fighting for an opportunity not only to wear the crown of the king, but also an opportunity at the World Heavyweight Championship at SummerSlam in August. Such high stakes in each and every match of this King of the Ring tournament that is going to progress over the next number of weeks. All leading to Sunday night, June the 18th. It'll cap off the biggest week in Universe Mode history. Right now, LA Knight just trying to get back into this matchup before he thinks about any moving farther, before he thinks about Philadelphia at the King of the Ring. And LA Knight going to the top rope here. Rare occurrence out of the arsenal of LA Knight, but you got to dig down deep and pull out some maneuvers that maybe you're not used to pulling out. All in the means of success tonight. LA Knight not usually one to go high risk, but got to do what you got to do to get the W. And of course, after that last battle, Shinsuke Nakamura is coming in with the upper hand. That's got to throw some things at Nakamura that, quite frankly, Shinsuke is not expecting. Try to throw Nakamura off his game plan. All in the means of victory. Wait a minute, Shinsuke here. I don't know if you want to grapple with Shinsuke Nakamura. But now now LA Knight keeps it simple with a fist to the face and turns him inside out. And he's not going for the cover just yet. LA Knight wants to put the final nail in the coffin of this matchup. But that may have just costed him not going for the pinfall here as Shinsuke Nakamura takes down Knight and a knee to the jaw. And this rubber matchup between these two men starting to click into a new gear right now. Who is moving on to the quarterfinals of the 2023 King of the Ring? LA Knight off those couple of kicks by Shinsuke. Needs the corner just to get to his feet. And here comes Nakamura throwing LA Knight shoulder first into that steel ring post. Shinsuke going for a little good vibrations on LA Knight. Nakamura is strutting his stuff. Shinsuke is looking good. Oh, wait a minute here. This is how Nakamura defeated LA Knight a couple of weeks ago. Could be going for the King Shasta on LA Knight. And the superstar may be seeing stars. And Nakamura is going to move on to the quarterfinals. But not just yet as LA Knight survives. No glass jaw for the defiant LA Knight. Able to survive Nakamura's hardest strike. As much as it takes out of the opponent, it takes a lot out of Nakamura just to hit that move with such resilience, such adrenaline. And somehow LA Knight was able to survive the warpath of Shinsuke. I don't know how much LA Knight's got left in the tank, just sent right over the top rope by Shinsuke Nakamura. But at the end of the day, Knight got the shoulder up, and we are still rolling in this opening round matchup. Nakamura goes for the kick, counter by LA Knight. If Knight's going to win this matchup, he's got to get things going. Now or never, neck breaker there. Knight cannot afford Nakamura to get back into this matchup. He's got the momentum right now, and he's got to keep it going, and that may do it. And now LA Knight's going to move on, but Shinsuke survives this time. What a matchup here on Monday Night Raw. It has been a phenomenal night of action here in Montreal, and these two superstars continuing that very phrase. LA Knight not able to keep down Nakamura. And he may have just lit a fire into the King of Strong Styles. Nakamura is still swinging for the fences, looking for the home run tonight. A couple of more elbows on LA Knight, keeping it simple. Shinsuke now heads to the middle rope, goes for an A. And you want to talk about uncharacteristic maneuvers. Shinsuke almost never takes things to the air, but it had to that time and it cost him. These two men up in the ante of their first two battles. 
Nakamura's now. You want to talk about a little roll reversal. Now it's him using the ropes to get to his feet. But a nice counter there by Shinsuke. LA Knight's down, and Nakamura, if he hits this, there may be no going back for the defiant LA Knight. King Sasa number two. LA Knight may be knocked out cold. That'll do it. The King of Strong Style is looking to become your 2023 King of the Ring and the Road to Philadelphia starts here tonight. What a matchup and ultimately the Shinsuke Nakamura. Here's your winner, Shinsuke Nakamura. Has come out your victor. There you see the updated bracket. Alexander and Nakamura move on, but who will move on next week? Sami Zayn takes on Tyler Bate. The winner will fight Shinsuke. Seth Rollins, Sheamus, the winner will fight Alexander. The King of the Ring Tournament kicking off in a huge way here on Monday Night Raw in Montreal. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Karrion Cross, that's Bobby Lashley. Karrion Cross, I, I don't know if this is a brawl or if this is an ambush. You remember Lashley, he defeated Karrion Cross, accepting his open challenge on the WWE Live event the night before Vengeance, and it looks like Karrion Cross has not lived down that loss. We have got a brawl situation in the backstage area. Whoa, wait a minute! Lashley through the table! Lashley's, he's barely moving. We need some help out there for Lashley. Well, we got to move on from that chaos that just ensued in the backstage area, but it is main event time here in Montreal, and it is time to decide the number one contender for Matt Riddle's WWE Championship on the 18th of June in Philadelphia. The following contest is scheduled for one fall, making his way to the ring, accompanied by Sami Zayn from Marieville, Quebec, Canada, weighing in at 200. Kevin well, speaking of backstage assaults, we want to take you back to last week when Kevin Owens ambushed the Beast Incarnate Brock Lesnar upon arriving to the arena. The stunner on the concrete, and then watch this, a pop-up powerbomb through the table to the Beast Incarnate. And I can tell you right now, Kevin Owens can sell his soul to the devil, but he better be careful, because if he's not, his ass will belong to Brock Lesnar. But Owens can't focus on Lesnar. He can't even focus on Riddle just yet. He's got to focus on the franchise. And his opponent from West Newberry, Massachusetts, weighing in at 251 pounds, John Cena. It has been a chaotic, action-packed couple of weeks here on Monday Night Raw. And what a bomb that was dropped just seven nights ago when Matt Riddle was in need of a tag team partner. The franchise John Cena came calling. We found out this past Friday night after the Rated R Superstar Edge made his return for the first time since WrestleMania on Friday Night SmackDown that a trade has been developed. John Cena officially a part of Monday Night Raw, Edge making his way to the blue brand on SmackDown. Absolute treat to have John Cena back here on Monday nights and what an opportunity is at stake. The 16 time world heavyweight champion, John Cena set to reignite an old rivalry once again with the prize fighter, Kevin Owens. An opportunity to battle the original bro, Matt Riddle on the 18th of June in the Wells Fargo Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania for the WWE Championship is on the line. We are set for your main event from the Bell Center in Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Kevin Owens very familiar with this city as he is going to take the fight to John Cena. And you got to wonder if Kevin Owens, by hook or by crook, is going to get the job done with Sami Zayn in his corner tonight. Kevin Owens very well may have that home field advantage. But quite frankly, the way Kevin Owens has been acting, the destructing, destruction excuse me, that the KO and Sami show have been causing for months here on Monday Night Raw, I don't think there's a soul in this building that is supporting that man right here tonight. John Cena going to get back into this matchup early as Kevin Owens came out swinging. And you saw the footage moments ago of what happened last week on Raw. We all were assuming that Kevin Owens might have taken out Brock Lesnar. 
as he didn't want Lesnar to possibly team up with Matt Riddle later in the night. But this is stemming from weeks of issues with Kevin Owens. Remember back at Backlash when he was eliminated from that number one contenders matchup by Brock Lesnar. That's really where this, this thing all started. Kevin Owens has laid out Lesnar with a stunner through the announce table. Lesnar has put down Kevin Owens with an F5. And clearly tensions boiling over in a sense. Kevin Owens looking to eradicate Brock Lesnar from Monday Night Raw last week. The stunner on the concrete pop-up powerbomb through the table. We haven't heard from Brock Lesnar ever since. As we mentioned, Kevin Owens can do whatever he wants. He can take whatever course of action he chooses. Wait a minute here, John Cena. Owens on the outside of the ring. Here comes the franchise suicide dive by Cena. Cena trying to do any means necessary to earn himself a shot to become a 17-time world champion. As we were about to mention, Kevin Owens can take whatever course of action he wants. He can have Sami Zayn in his corner. He can be in Sami Zayn's corner. They can cause as much chaos and anarchy here on the red brand each and every week as they please. He can sell his soul to the devil, but he better be careful who he crosses because if he's not, his ass is going to belong to Brock Lesnar whenever the hell the next time we see the Beast Incarnate is. Nonetheless, John Cena looking to mow over Kevin Owens tonight. Cena did not come to Monday Night Raw just to be a part. He came to take over, and he came to earn his 17th World Championship. Cena has been fighting for number 17 multiple times throughout this year. When Cena was on SmackDown. He fought Seth Rollins for the World Heavyweight Championship back on January the 1st at the Royal Rumble. Came up short. And you remember the last time we saw... Oh, wait a minute here. Uh, see, here we go. This is the M.O. of the Kevin Owens and Sami show. Use each other to his advantage. As Sami takes Cena's eye off the ball, and Kevin Owens, just in a snap of the fingers, is back in control. Nonetheless, you hate to see it, but we expect nothing less out of Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. As we were about to mention, the last time we saw Cena before, he made his return last week. Back on April the 11th at Backlash when he came up short against Drew McIntyre for the World Heavyweight Championship. Cena has fought in that main event picture multiple times throughout this year, but he's looking to make the third time a charm if he can make it to King of the Ring in Philadelphia. But off that swanton, Kevin Owens has got something else in mind. Pop up power bomb, and Owens may have just punched his ticket. Not just yet as Cena gets the shoulder up. These two men know each other very well. They have had wars in the past. Cena knows Kevin Owens' best tricks. Owens, the same for Cena. But will they be able to survive throughout this matchup? Right now, Cena was Ken Kevin Owens. Luthez by the franchise. John Cena looking, as we just mentioned, for his third trip to a main event championship matchup on pay-per-view this year, and he wants the third time to be a charm. Cena may have teamed up with Matt Riddle last week, but if he goes one-on-one -on -one with the original bro, respect aside, Cena will do any means necessary to try to become the WWE Champion. No, come on, again already! This is the second time in this matchup that Sami Zayn has taken Cena's eye off the ball, and one of these weeks, the referees are gonna have to step in and get Sami Zayn, or vice versa, Kevin Owens, the way a hell from ringside. Nonetheless, Cena's gonna keep fighting. You're not gonna hear a bitch and moan out of the mouth of the franchise. Cena's gonna keep swinging until his opponent's got nothing left. Only one of these men can fight Matt Riddle at our next live premiere event. See a nice takedown there, and John Cena started to get Montreal fired up as they've been all night long here at the Bell Center. A awesome crowd for an absolutely action-packed night of Monday Night Raw action. Wait a minute, Cena shoving Kevin Owens off the top rope and down to the ground here. Now wait a minute, John Cena. Heading to the top rope, crossbody, taking out Owens. John Cena wants that 17th trip to the top of the mountain more than life itself. And John Cena is not done on the apron. Kevin Owens may have his eggs scrambled and Cena's looking to add a little more fuel to that fire. Got to get it done inside of the ring. Kevin Owens brought back inside the squared circle. You better watch out of his peripheral. Sami Zayn was getting a little close there. Cena heading to the top again. 
Crossbody this time inside of the ring. Falls it up with a pinfall to become number one contender, not just yet. Kevin Owens kicks out and survives another moment in this match. Cena's not done, not gonna take the foot off the gas pedal. Looking to outrun the prize fighter as he just does. And Kevin Owens gets sent for a ride. And for a third time, Sami Zayn has got his eyes locked on John Cena. It's hard to just brush it off when somebody's mouthing off to you at ringside. It's better said than done. And Sami Zayn has aided Kevin Owens' momentum multiple times in this main event. And just like that, Kevin Owens is back in control over the franchise player of World Wrestling Entertainment. Sends him into the ropes, could have been going for a pop-up powerbomb. Cena was able to outrun him there, but how much is left in the tank of the franchise? Oh no, spin out, neck breaker by Owens. And that surgically repaired neck of John Cena, Kevin Owens looking to target the weaknesses. Wait a minute, Cena taking Owens off his feet, looking to steal the victory here to go to King of the Ring. Not just yet as Owens kicks out. And again, Sami Zayn doing anything he can to distract Cena, and a kick doesn't take Cena off his feet, but enough to keep his eye off the ball. Sami Zayn has been the equalizer in this matchup. It's absolutely a shame to see as Kevin Owens is working away on Cena and could be going for back-to-back -back neck breakers. John Cena's ball game has certainly been affected by the X Factor ringside and Owens is now hitting the stunner on John Cena. Cena may be down and out, and Kevin Owens has came, saw, and has once again become the number one contender right here tonight at Montreal. John Cena, in my opinion, just got screwed over by the KO and Sammy show, but we expect nothing less out of these two son of a bitches. Absolutely ridiculous. Here is your winner, Kevin. Well, whether you love him or you hate him, the result leads us to Philadelphia. Kevin Owens with Sami Zayn in his corner, of course, will go one-on-one -on -one with the original bro, Matt Riddle, and this time for all the marbles, the WWE Championship. Well, nonetheless of the result, it has been an awesome night of action here in Montreal. Next week on Raw, the King of the Ring tournament continues when Sami Zayn battles Tyler Bate, as well as Seth Rollins takes on Sheamus in your main event. Thank you for joining us. The road to Philadelphia has just begun. King of the Ring continues this Friday on SmackDown, and we'll see you next week right here on Raw. Pace on when I chase like that, yeah, I play so strong with the knife in the back. I'm a swing home run like a baseball bat. Gonna see me rise if you hate on that. I don't play both sides, doing me no cap. I'm a rock.